Do you need to capture a signature within Salesforce? Let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm integrated with Salesforce, you can grab it for free from the App Exchange. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm tab. And for this example, we're gonna create a brand new form. So the top left-hand corner, we're going to create a form. And you can see that we do have a create Salesforce form but I'm gonna start from scratch with the classic form. Next over on the left-hand side, we have our add form element options and let's go ahead and choose a full name, email. And then right here, we have the option for a signature. Now, if that's all we need, we are good to go to continue with our integration. But if we want to make it official, we can add the JotForm sign automation by choosing this green button. And you can see it automatically turns sign submissions into PDF documents. It allows you to have that audit trail for every signed document. It's going to disable submission editing and it also requires form users to give consent for their signature. So let's go ahead and turn that on and it will choose the email field we've selected and if we would like to send an audit trail to the recipient we can turn that on but for this example I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off now we can head back over to build as of right now we are not integrated with Salesforce so in order to integrate with Salesforce we're going to choose the Salesforce integration button on the top right hand corner right here and we have the option to choose between creating a record or finding an existing record so for this let's go ahead and create a brand new record we'll choose next and we need to choose which object. I'll use account for this example. And let's go ahead and map the field. So we have name. And if you have any other fields that you'd like to map, you can add them in here. But for now, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and go next. And now it's fine to know if it wants to look for existing records to avoid any duplicates. And yes, I wanna do that. And let's look at the account name for that. We'll do save. Now we're good to go. So if we click on the name field, we can see that it is mapped within Salesforce. So let's go ahead and preview this form and let's give this a test. I'm gonna go ahead and fill form and we'll come down here and do a quick signature. And you can see right here, it is powered by JotForm sign. We'll continue and we'll sign document and we're good to go. Now, not only is this now in our Salesforce account, JotForm is also keeping this data for us as well. So up in the top left-hand corner, if I change from JotForm Builder to the tables, I get to see all that information here. So let's go ahead and head over to Salesforce and take a look at it there. I'm gonna head to my account tab. And here is Annie's information. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Salesforce and JotForm to capture a signature, let us know down below in the comments. If you'd like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.